In today's video, I'm gonna tell you exactly how much protein you should be eating per day, how many times per day you should be eating protein, reach your goals. I'm gonna talk about my experience and also give you some science to back it up. We're starting right now. Hey guys, what's going on? This is Paul Ravella from ProPhysique.com and I got a great question from right here on my Instagram direct message. Guys, I've been doing this for a decade. I've been coaching athletes. I've been competing myself. I've been working on losing body fat and adding muscle and I wanna help you guys reach your goals and I know you guys have questions and so I'm here to answer them. Go to my Instagram direct message, send a question just like this and let me help you. I'm currently at 58.6 kgs. I do about 16,000 steps a day. I train five to six days a week and I walk after my sessions. And I'm currently eating 1,400 calories. How many calories would you suggest? And how much protein should I be eating? I have 45 days until my holiday and I really wanna get as lean as possible before that. Would really appreciate you getting back to me, Aaron. Well, first of all, Aaron, thank you for the great question. Now, guys, I live in America and in America, we don't do the KG thing. So I had to do some homework for you guys to help you out, but I'm here for you. So my first thought when I saw this was, okay, this guy's eating very low calories. But then when I converted his weight to kgs to pounds, I realized he's actually only about 130 pounds. So although 1400 calories might seem low, it's still above 10 times his body weight, which is kind of my threshold for starting to worry about somebody's, you know, performance and function in the gym. And I also will put a picture of him up here right now. He looks great. He's already pretty lean. You can see he's got some nice muscle shape. So preparing for a vacation, if he was to lose another two to three kilos, it's gonna make a huge difference in his waistline and his lower belly fat. He's gonna look really good on vacation in his board shorts. So I wanna talk about protein intake as it relates to losing body fat and what we should be focused on. So there's a lot of information around protein for a good reason. Protein, when we digest it, breaks down into amino acid. Those amino acids are responsible for the repair of a lot of the cells in our body, including our muscle cells. Now we tend to focus on muscle protein synthesis or our body's ability to add protein. And to do that, you need to eat an adequate amount. But there's been a discussion around this for years. For years, it was thought that bodybuilders way over consume protein and the general public does not need to eat that much protein. But there are a lot of benefits to eating protein. But what is the recommended daily allowance? Well, I found some research right here and I wanna show you guys that it's actually been found that by going above the recommended daily allowance, there are some benefits. So how much protein should you be focusing on taking in per day? Based on this research that I found, I plugged in my numbers. I'm about 210 pounds, which is around 95 kilograms. And at the low end of the equation, it says that I should be getting around 115 grams of protein per day to build muscle. And at the high end, it says around 150 grams. Now, for someone that's 210 pounds or 95 kilos, these numbers are gonna seem a little bit low, especially for those of us that have been in the fitness space for a while, because we always hear this adage that you need to eat the amount of protein that you weigh. Well, something that I've been saying for a long time is that it's better to focus on the amount of protein being associated with your goal weight, right? So for someone that is obese or has a very high BMI, let's say they're 300 pounds, they don't need 300 grams of protein a day. Sometimes that's not even realistic. What would be a better goal? If your goal weight is 200 pounds, means you have a lot of body fat to lose. It means your lean body mass is below 200 pounds, so you're obviously getting plenty of protein at 200 grams a day. So that's a simple solution. When I saw this number, I thought, wow, 115 grams of protein a day for me at 210 pounds? I have personally tested this and I have experienced what happens. When I am close to 100 grams of protein a day, my recovery suffers, my hunger increases, and I definitely notice a little loss in lean body mass associated with that diet. When I start paying attention to my nutrition, meaning I pull out my phone, I start tracking. Every so often this is necessary because I think especially for those of us that don't track all the time, you realize, wow, protein is one of the most difficult numbers to hit throughout the day if you're not intentionally focusing on protein. That's been my experience. And what I found is that that 150 number is pretty magical. When I get my protein up to 150 grams a day, which means I have to have at least three servings of 50 grams of protein. That is a very healthy amount of protein. I notice a big difference in my performance. Now, is there a difference when I go from 150 to say 200, which is where I'm at now? I'll tell you this, the leaner I get, the more valuable I feel that protein becomes because we are in a state of being catabolic more often when we are lower calorie and lower body fat. So what do I suggest for you? I suggest you focus on your goal weight. Now, my friend here is at 130 pounds. I think his goal should be somewhere around 125 pounds for his holiday, for his vacation, somewhere between that 
I would keep his protein around 130 grams per day. He's already fairly lean, and we're gonna talk about how to break up your meals so that you're hitting the protein the most effective way as possible. Another thing that we hear when it comes to protein is that your body cannot absorb a certain amount of protein and that it's all wasted, which is not true. What actually happens if you overconsume protein? There is a maximum benefit to the amount of protein you can eat in a single meal. Maximum benefit is much different than saying it is wasted, okay? The maximum benefit to muscle protein synthesis maxes out around 25 to 35 grams of protein per meal. However, if you consume say 60 to 70 grams of protein per meal, your body still uses it. It still digests it. It still gets used in other processes in the body. Don't be short-sighted when it comes to the human body. Protein is not just for building muscle. So in this research article by two people that I highly respect, Brad Schoenfeld and Alan Aragon, they actually break down how much protein is beneficial in a single meal for building muscle. So the difference between what Brad and Alan are doing and what the typical RDA is looking at is that Brad and Alan are looking at optimizing the human condition, right? So Brad is one of the most prolific researchers in our space and he just puts out a ton of information. So it's great to look over his stuff. And what he showed was that although the amount per meal in research that is listed at about 0.25 grams of protein per kilogram of weight, he put the number at somewhere closer to 0.4 grams per kilogram. So what does that look like in reality? So if you were to take my body weight, which is 210 pounds or 95 kilograms, and you were to take that 0.25 per meal, that would put us somewhere around 24 grams of protein per meal to optimize protein synthesis. But if we go to the upper end where Brad has it at 0.4 grams, that puts me at closer to 38, let's call it 40 grams per meal. This is where I focus my nutrition on. I try to get between 40 and 50 grams of protein per meal spaced out throughout the day. Now, the best way to optimize this intake is to take a break between meals. There is such a thing as a refractory period, meaning it is less beneficial if you get in 200 grams of protein in a single meal. It is more beneficial if you get in four servings of 50 grams of protein spaced out four, five, six hours apart throughout the day. This refractory period allows your body to go through its muscle protein synthesis phase, recover, and then do it again. So for us athletes, this is why you'll see us eating throughout the day. We are staying anabolic when it comes to muscle building, muscle recovery. This is the approach that I use both as myself and as my athletes. I am trying to get large doses of protein at a minimum of three times per day, at a maximum of say five times per day, but I find the sweet spot for me has been four large meals throughout the day that include protein as their primary basis. So what the research here shows for you, my friend, if you're gonna be getting around 130 grams of protein per day, I would likely have you split that up into three to four large meals spaced out by three to six hours based on what your preferences are. Is there a huge difference between three and four meals? Perhaps not. Over a long period of time, you might notice a benefit. I myself teeter between three and four meals based on where I'm currently at with my goals and my lifestyle. I do find that increasing my protein in a dieting phase has allowed me to stay leaner for a longer period of time. There are other benefits to protein. A lot of us will just focus on the benefits to muscle protein synthesis and how much muscle we can add. But if you are trying to lose body fat and build muscle or avoid muscle loss, protein is also gonna help you with your hunger and with satiety, okay? And so they're still doing more research. So although there is no exact perfect number, it's starting to look like that 30 to 40 grams of protein per meal based on how much you weigh spaced out throughout the day is gonna provide a great benefit, okay? So for you, my friend, where you're at now, as long as you're getting around 130 grams of protein per day into three or four meals, you said you're doing about 30 minutes of walking after your workouts, hey, you know, I'm a big fan of movement. I don't see any reason why you couldn't simply double that, keep your calories the same and get a great benefit. I would also likely have you doing a refeed day or a high carb day once or twice a week where your calories probably come up to 1500 calories with the bulk of that being in carbohydrates so that you are inducing some great workouts. The one thing you wanna to do to keep muscle is make sure your workouts stay good and make sure your protein is in a proper place. All right, guys, if you wanna see what it looks like, what I'm eating right now, I have right here a full day of eating plan. I've also done a video where I walked every single day for one hour for 30 days, and you could see what that did to me. Guys, I hope you're having a great day, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.